getting back to like practical, you know, advice for parents and, and players is you want to have that complete game. You want your player to be everyone is complete now at the pro level and even at Division One college. And and you can you can what's great about the Spanish method is you can take parts of it and use it. Like you can work. You can develop your de- even if you're an aggressive player, you can develop your defense and you can develop better movement, um, you know, that, and that will help you. And and you could develop bigger forehand the Spanish way. So you, you can kind of use it's kind of modular in a way that the system is modular and you mm-hmm. can take parts of it to help a player. And that's what I do every day on the, on, in, you know, on the court coaching. I take what what my player needs. Obviously, some players might be more defensive and and. One of the cool things about Spain is you can be a defensive player and you won't get chastised for it by coaches. Because here in the U.S., if you try to play a defensive game, you might get thrown out of your academy. <laughs> to be a pusher, there's no word for that in Spain. And one of the nice things is if I know we, we don't want to develop pushers. None, I know I'm sure parents are rolling their eyes or shaking their heads. But, but the idea of being steady and not giving away a lot of errors is like the high, the, the, the most noble goal in Spain to, to be solid, to not give away points because the, the grandfathers of Spanish tennis believe that very strongly that tennis is a game of errors and that the player who makes fewer errors tends to win, you know? So uh, the, it's the highest honor to be able to go into a match and not make a lot of mistakes. But here in the U S it, it can be, uh, players can can feel embarrassed to be steady. They they can they can be like I mentioned. They can be criticized by their coaches or by the people around them, uh, which is a shame because that that mindset of not 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 wanting to give away uh, freebies, you know, free lunches or free gifts to the is, is a really good really good mental aspect to cultivate. Although, of course, we don't want the kids to play. You know, when we want them to attack and be aggressive, but but. Uh, in Spain, there's no such thing as a, to be a put to, to go long in a rally and, and frustrate your opponent is a great honor, you know, to be able to do that. Yeah.